third place, but yet to come, B.B. Mills and Pat Kirksey. B.B. Mills also competing on the floor exercise event. B.B. is still coached by Bella Caroli. At the Seoul Games, she finished with a bronze on the balance beam and 15th in the all-around. Here's her first tumbling pass. Run off the gas ring. Pull twisting, pike double back. Good solid landing. She was way up there, too. Oh, way up there. You know, she's changed her music. It's not the cute little pixie type of music because Stevie's changed. changed. She's grown a lot, and so her music is much more mature. I was talking with Bella before the meet, and I said, honestly, Bella, in your heart, do you think she's going to stay around until 1992? And he said, certainly it's up to her, but if anybody has a dedication out of all the gymnasts she's coached, she's got the most dedication to stick around. No question. Beautiful double pike. What's really impressed me the most about PB over the years is that she's always in phenomenal shape. She's just in great physical condition. We said in the beginning that she's grown one inch, put on five pounds, and of course that's Mother Nature taking her course. She's maturing now. She's 16 years old, but it's all muscle. Look how strong her upper body is. I think growing up might be an advantage to her, where other women, it's usually a disadvantage. It could. Usually the strength to weight ratio becomes much more difficult for the girls as they mature into, into womanhood. And the men tend to reach a much better peak after they physically mature. Double back dismount. Not too much struggling there for Phoebe. Crowd favorite, Phoebe Mills. Bella Caroli giving her a hug. Her partner, Patrick Kirksey, also competing on the floor exercise event. He is from Tucker, Georgia, 5 feet 10 inches tall. Currently lives in Lincoln because he competes at the University of Nebraska where he's coached by Francis Allen and Jim Howard. Now 5'10 is big for a gymnast, but he's very, very powerful and that strength really helps him. And when you use these springs that are underneath that, are underneath that floor, you can really use them to your advantage when you're bigger. You can get a good bounce off the floor. Very high, open tuck, full to double back. He did not use his hands to grab his legs. That shows excellent technique in his tumbling. Front flip walkout handspring, bounder handspring, and that's a layout full twisting front flip. It's a full twisting straddle side flip. This is the required press to a handstand. Must hold it for at least two seconds. Once again, when you have a good handstand, for example, you can make wow. a press a rest position. What a straddle jump that was. There's a Y scale. Held that very well. A little breath before the dismount. Round up back handspring, double tuck. A little step, but that was a very solid routine. That is it solid enough to overtake third place, which is currently held by the Soviet Union at 38.1. I'm really impressed with this first tumbling pass. He does a full twisting double back flip, but he doesn't use his hands to grab his legs at all. It shows excellent technique because he gets a good lift off the ground, and everything kind of takes care of itself while he's in the air. And he's so long, if the temptation is there to grab your legs and, sure. and whip it around. His last pass was the fairly standard dismount that they use, which is a double back flip. But does it quite well. Good lift with his arms. Just takes a little step backwards. And the floor for Patrick Kirsty is now being posted. This is Phoebe Mills. She also was on the floor exercise event. Now Phoebe does the same pass as Patrick, except that she uses her hands to grab her legs, and she does it in the pike position. Meaning she keeps her legs straight. You see her grab her legs to pull them around. It's much more difficult in the pike position. Now her last tumbling pass. Round off, back handspring, double 
pike. It kind of goes into it like a tuck, and then she straightened her legs at the end. Well, the combined total, 38.8, because they received the 9.85 and 9.5, respectively, for their individual scores. They're in first. The third round is up ahead. Welcome back to our third and final round of the Mixed Pairs event in Jacksonville, Florida. The standings after two rounds show Phoebe Mills and Patrick Kirksey are our top qualifiers, followed by Wendy Bruce and Lee Jing. Now, Shelly Stack and Wes Suter technically finished third, but since only one all-USA tandem can advance to the third and final round, that opened the door for the Soviet Union. Dudnik and Marinich will now compete in the third and final round as Stack and Suter must be retired by the USA rule. Let's go right ahead. Now the draw has been made, and the first pair to compete will be Phoebe Mills and Patrick Kirksey, and the very gutsy Phoebe Mills will compete on the balance beam, and intentionally so. The American Cup, which was held just a few days ago, saw her fall off this event and actually lose the cup because of it. Well, she wants to come right back and prove that that was a fluke. Beam is a strong event for her, she says. Well, she won the bronze medal on balance beam in the Olympics, so it clearly is her best event. I'll tell you, this is an important routine for her because if she can just do a, an excellent routine here, beautiful back handstring, back layout, back layout. That's what she fell off on in the American Cup. She made it nice and solid this time. If she can do a good routine here, she's right back on track. She's got all the confidence she needs going into the next round of competitions in the coming months. Yeah, I talked with her about being nervous. She said, sure, she gets nervous for all of her events, but she tries to direct, to direct that nervousness into a positive performance instead of letting it rattle her she steers that energy into, into a fine performance. A slight bobble there, little bobble. That's important. You have to be nervous. If you're not nervous, it means you're not placing importance on what you're doing. It's okay and it's important to be nervous. You just have to, as you said, channel the energy to the right places. She's still right on target, though. I like this move. She seems quite sure of herself. Getting ready for a dismount. And there is a round off. Double tuck. Great landing. Back on track. And she puts the pressure on the Soviet Union and the international tandem of Bruce and Jane. Bella Carolla congratulating her. Bella Carolla nursing a, a fractured wrist. He fell off a ladder at home a couple of months ago and shattered the bone in something like 60 places, some incredible number, had to undergo lots of surgery. Yeah. And that's why you're not seeing him slam his gymnast on the back. Yeah, the girls say he sticks both hands out to spot, but the last second he pulls one of them back. <laughs> the weak one. He's in a lot of pain with that uh, sore wrist. So it's, it's calmed Bella down in the back thumping department. Getting back to the mixed pairs as you look at Bella. It's his right hand, incidentally, that he injured. And he is right-handed. Patrick Kirksey, now ready to compete in his final event, which is the pommel horse. And the pressure's actually been put on him because his partner just performed a very solid routine. That's right, he knows that with a good performance here, they could win this. Now, pommel horse hasn't typically been Patrick's best event, but he's very, very solid now. This is a tough routine. Oh, form break there. It's okay, he's staying tough. Little bobble. Now oh, he's slipped off. off. And a lot of hearts just sank in the Jacksonville Coliseum. Oh. Still able to muster a smile, though. She'd be saying to herself, it was you, not me. <laughs> well, she smiled because Patrick smiled first. Now it's tough. He's got to get back up, finish this routine. Certainly it won't be the score that would give them the top spot, but based on a few bobbles, you never know. We still have two more teams that could make little mistakes. There's this flare sequence, and this is scissors. Now setting up for his dismount, driving out of the end of the horse, right up to a handstand, pirouette. Now I would have to say, comparing that to the Soviet pommel horse routine that we just saw before the break, it was not as strong. Even though he fell off, he came back and I think had a stronger finish than Kirksey did. Correct, and uh, in a way the Soviet almost had to. He had packed it full of so much difficulty that he had to go all out just to be able to make it through some of those skills. But to give credit to Patrick, it's still a very difficult routine. And he finished nice and strong. Now, he just banged his leg the first time and he kind of sat down on the pommel. Mm -hmm. 
He might have gotten away with it because the judges are all on the other side. It really looked like he regained his composure, but then once his right hand slipped off that horse, there's just nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. Tough break. On the brighter side, here's Phoebe Mills on the beam. This is the pass that she fell off on in the American Cup. Does a back handspring, back layout step out into another back layout step out, and she's right on target. Phoebe dismounted with a double back flip. It just nails the landing. Good high lift, tucks it around, zeroes in on the ground. Here you can see the total, 57.65 with two more pairs yet to compete. Her score was 9.85 on the beam, his was a 9.0 for the pump.